Hello mates, welcome to the channel. I'm going to be making videos following my adventures into game development. Who am I? I'm a software engineer and a very amateur games developer who starts way too many projects without actually finishing any. So let's just get into it. So I remember being a kid and playing a remote control boat in a pond and that seemed like a fun idea to explore. I wanted to mix that with the feeling of trying to constantly dodge and juke stuff like in the game Rough Houses. It was important for me to have the nice visual effect of the water rippling like in a real pond, so that was the first thing that I started working on. I had no idea how to implement that, so I did what any self-respected developer does, and Google it to see if somebody else had done the work for me. Ah, hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Let's try that again. Ah, ooh, okay, I can work with this. So while I don't understand the maths, I do understand how to implement it thanks to that example. You need to generate a texture and that will store the data for the simulation. And Unity has a handy feature that allows you to do this called a custom render texture. It allows you to create a texture from the output of a special shader. We can then feed that into another shader to create our final effect. The math requires the current and previous states of the simulation to calculate the next state in the sim. So we set the render texture to double buffer and store the current state in the R channel and the previous state in the G channel. And now all we need to do is a simple script to update the texture. Great, attach that script to an object and now we just need a way to be able to collide with the war. There are a few ways you could do this but the simplest way that came to my mind was to use a normal render texture that gets drawn to from a camera that's hidden in the water. The camera is set to orthographic and just kind of spans the width of the, of the water plane. I then create simple meshes with a red material and put them on a separate layer so that the render texture cam can only see them and then the main cam can't see them at all. Great, now we just have to mix that in with the previous shader, sample it and then change the R value of the simulated texture based on the red channel of the collision texture. Great, that works. Now we just need to set up the surface shader for the water. And for this, I went with shader graph because I don't actually really know how to write shader code. So um, this is what I ended up coming up with. Ah, um, ah, nice spaghetti there, Kriggs. I mean, well, ah, let me just clean this up a bit. There, that's a bit better. So this section calculates the normal map of the water. I condensed some of the node spaghetti into a custom function to handle the maths just because, yeah, it wasn't pretty. We can apply this directly to the normal node of the PBR and immediately get a water ripple. This section up here modifies the alpha value of the water based on the ripples, just to add a bit more to the effect. And then finally we just add a small amount of vertex offset. This is just due to me targeting mobile, I didn't want to have too many vertices, so I kind of reduced the effect down a bit just to not draw attention to the lack of polygons. Um, and then down here, I just do a few extra effects to make it look more pretty, add refraction, add some colour, add some foam to the ripple. Um, I can cover that in another video if you're interested, but you can do whatever you want here. Um, and yeah, now you have a collidable water simulation. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've linked the various resources that I use to make the water in the description. Uh, please check them out. They'll have like the actual code examples that you can take a look at yourself and understand it better. It definitely helped me. If you like the video, please subscribe, like, sacrifice your firstborn, whatever the YouTubers demand nowadays, and maybe follow me on Twitter at PixelPunkGames1. If you have any suggestions for the game or videos, constructive feedback, please pop them all in the comments below. Um, I'm looking for a good name for the game, so if you've got any ideas, yeah, just pop them down there. Anyway, cheers.